Welcome to the Magnolia Clubhouse Weekly News Report for the week of July 20th through the 26th. I'm Ron, your anchor for this broadcast, coming to you from a digital recreation of the Mission Control Center used to guide the Apollo 11 moon landing, which took place on July 20th, 1969. To bring us back down to Earth, the Clubhouse would like to welcome new members, Corey and Christine, and welcome back returning members, Destiny and James. The administration unit has run the numbers and reports an average daily attendance of 69 members for this fiscal year. Willie has been hard at work putting together this week's employment report. For the first start of the employment news, celebrating members who have reached three months from their job. Alonzo works full-time at Michelle, McShelley's Death Dairy. Celebrating members now who have reached six months on their job is Patricia, working full-time at Eaton. Erica, working part-time at Instacart. Kim, working part-time at Instacart. Okay, now moving on to permanent, uh, permanent employment. Let's talk about James, who recently started at Lola Bistro, completed his training and orientation, and reported that things are going nice and smooth. From our employment tracking now, this is when we track some employment information. During the first six months of 2020, we identified that 105 members have found gainful employment which is wonderful news. For these members, the average is $11.26. Man, that's a lot of pesos there. If you see these members, please congratulate them on a job well done. Well, to all staff, if you know of any members working who would like to be to provide us with feedback about their employment experience, please let Kevin in membership know as we're trying to promote employment on our Magnolia Clubhouse webpage. Thank you. Thank you, Willie. Now we present Matthew with what you can expect from this week's weather. Hi everyone, I'm Matthew along with Panda here, and we are here with your weekly weather report. Starting on Monday, July 20th, the forecast shows thunderstorms and thunder showers scattered all over the entire week. And believe me when I say we are in for some stormy weather. The highs will be in the mid 80s and the lows will be in the lower 70s. Please prepare for the rain lest you get some shocking results. All right, everyone. Stay tuned and stay cool. I'm Matthew. Here's Panda. And that was it for your weekly weather report. And now back to more of our main Magnolia news. Thank you, Matthew. In other news, the clubhouse shop is now open. Any members interested in working in the shop must contact Nick and arrange a time as space is limited due to social distancing. Our very own Renee has returned with more information on local resources. Hi, this is Renee, and I love to give resources to help people in these trying times that we're living in, especially about food. And I just learned that um, the Greater Cleveland Food Bank on most Thursdays are doing a uh, produce giveaway, um, and that's at the Muni lot from two to five, just to verify if the food bank is going on that day at Muni Lot from 2 to 5, uh, give the Greater Food Bank a call at 216-738-2067. Also, uh, to make it easier for the National Guard who are here to help make things go smoother, they're asking you pre-register at www. We feed Clee, .org. that way it'll make it a little smoother and faster for everyone so that's my one resource 
health and wellness are still very important to our community. Remember that if it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. That's right. The whole health action management group is open and meets via Zoom at 3 p.m. on Wednesdays. If you want to get active throughout the week, you can join Nikki for yoga by using the hospitality unit's meeting link at 9.30 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and on Thursday afternoon at 3 p.m. Check out uh, the Magnolia Clubhouse's Facebook page for links to these meetings. Speaking of health and wellness at the Clubhouse, many of you have met Heather, who has been part of our team working in the Carriage House Clinic. It is the weekly review's sad duty to report that she will be leaving us to go to Singapore. Her last day is July 28th. Thank you, Heather, for your time at Magnolia Clubhouse and good luck uh, to you in your new endeavors. Regarding travel, Magnolia Clubhouse's weekly review is heading down under to Australia to check out the Diamond Clubhouse. In other news, if you are a, sport, a sports fan, you will enjoy this update from the really big show radio regular Keith in Lakewood and the man who's working on his 445th podcast, Scott, with their latest update on the world of sports. Are the Browns close to re-signing their most franchise player and the latest on the latest in the world of the reporting every month with your Magnolia Weekly Clubhouse Sports Report by KIL. But here with here with today's breaking news and we hit here is my tag team partner Scott Trump. Scott, this is breaking news concerning the mile concerning Miles Garrett from the Browns. The Browns are finalizing a massive five year extension with hundred and twenty five million with uh, six million uh, in guaranteed money. Uh, for a star pass question, Miles Garrett, and he is expected to sign this deal uh, as early as today. And this deal is worth a total of $144 million over the next seven years, and he has two years left on his rookie contract. And this is a very big, big uh, contract, back contract for Miles Garrett. I feel see, we need him right now. I feel this is going to be uh, an improving year for the Browns, and but yes, he is expected to sign it as early as today. Moving on to Major League Baseball, where the Indians are, are continuing their practice at Progressive Field. They have announced a preseason three-game series with the Pittsburgh Pirates beginning this Friday. So there will be the first two games will be in Pittsburgh beginning this Friday, but the second game is coming Wednesday next week. The third game will be at Progressive Field on July 20th. 
prior to the start of the season at Progressive Field on July 24th against the Kansas City Royals. Scott, it looks like the Indians have, have get, are beginning to get themselves together. It looks like it seems like they're going to start the season on time. They will be doing a, uh, a three-game uh, series with the Pittsburgh Pirates before the start of the regular season, uh, which is a 60-game season that begins uh, next week on July 23rd. And uh, Tribe fan, Tribe's already working out down at Progressive Field, and Tribe fans are ready, and, uh, and we'll, we're going to see what happens. And uh, this is really going to be one of those seasons where it's going to be very interesting because it's only going to be a 60-game season. And well, uh, the Tribe fans are ready. Moving on in, in other major league baseball, the Atlanta Braves released a statement to, their, to the organization and to their fans stating that they have no intention of dropping the name Braves from their organization. We will follow this story in the months to come, but it looks like it's going to be dire straits for the Atlanta baseball team and undue pressure being placed on the Indians. Well, Scott, this wraps up another week of Magnolia Clubhouse Sports Report and KIL. Scott, finish it off. Always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. We done. Thank you, gentlemen, for that comprehensive report. It's time for this week's standard. Hi, I'm James, and today's standard is number six under membership. Members have a right to immediate re-entry in the clubhouse community after any length of absence unless their return poses a threat to the clubhouse community. That was your standard, and back to more news. Now for the quote of the week. Hi, I am Jeff with this week's quote. One truth I have discovered for sure when you believe that all things are possible and you are willing to work hard to accomplish your goals, you can achieve the next impossible dream. No dream is too high. A quote from Apollo 11, astronaut Buzz Aldrin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I know we've had an amazing time together and you're going to miss me, but that's all for this week's Clubhouse News Report. Magnolia Clubhouse is a vital community of growth, hope, and opportunity for people who live with mental illness, and its mission is to ensure that our members are respected co workers We are always accepting new members. That's all from Mission Control. We'll see you next week. In the meantime, connect with us at magnoliaclubhouse.org and on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Ron, have a great week.